All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about the second group of operators that you could use inside the wear clouds, and they called the logical operators. We will focus on those three bad boys and or not. In the previous examples, you learned how to filter your data using only one condition. But in real life scenarios, things get more complicated where you have to combine the results of two or more conditions. And in order to do that, you could use the operators and or. Okay, so now let's start with the first operator, the and operator. It says the following. It returns true only if both conditions are true, otherwise it can be false. So let's say we have condition A, condition P, and we want to combine them using AND. So the first situation we have in the condition A true, and in the condition P we have true. If you do the ANDs, we will get as well true because it fulfill the requirement. So both conditions are true, we will get true. Let's have the second scenario condition a as well true but in condition b we have false so here not both of them are true and we will get in the result false so now the way around the condition a has false and condition b has true not both of them are true that means the result gonna be false and the last scenario where you have both of them are false as a result you're gonna get false so that means the and operator is really strict both of the conditions should be true in order to get true. Otherwise, it's going to be always false. Okay, let's jump to the next one. We have the OR operator. It says, it returned true if one of the conditions is true. So that means the OR operator, it's going to be happy if you have one of those conditions was true to give you true. Otherwise, it's going to give you false. So let's check again the same example. We have here condition A, condition B, but now we're going to apply the OR. So we have in the first scenario, true at the A, true at the B, it fulfills the requirements. Both of them are true. So that means in the OR we have true. The next one we have at the A, true, but the B, false. So now it says at least one should be true. So that means with the OR you're going to get as well true because you have it here as A, it is true. So the next scenario where it is the opposite, where you have at the A false and the P true, it fulfills the requirements. At least one of them is true to give you true. But only at the last scenario where you both are false. With this scenario, you will get false. So as you can see, the OR operator is less strict than AND. It's going to be happy if you have somewhere true to give you a true and you will get more result okay let's move to the last one the not operator it says it's gonna reverse the result of any boolean operator so that means it's gonna be always giving you the opposite for example if you say left it's gonna go right if you say go right it's gonna go left so here you having always the opposite as the results it's gonna work only was only one condition so it's not combining two conditions like and and or so here we have the condition A. If you have here true and you use the not, so that means you will get the false. So it's going to do the opposite. And the same if you have false and you use not operator on it, you will get true. So it's always like reversing the results. If you have true, you're going to get false. If you have false, you're going to get true. Okay, guys and girls, so enough with the theory. Let's have some tasks in order to learn that in SQL. So we have the following tasks. Find all customers who come from Germany and their score is less than 400. So we have here two conditions. Let's try to solve that. So as usual, we're going to use select. No specifications about the columns. Star from our table is customers and now in the where condition we have two conditions so the country is germany so we can write country equal the value germany and now we have another conditions it says the score should be less than 400 so score less operator 400 so now I have two conditions and I need to combine them. In the task it says and, that means 
both of the conditions should be fulfilled. So I need to write now the operator and between both of those conditions. So let's run this and see. So with these conditions, we have only one customer that's fulfilled both of the conditions. So we have Maria come from Germany and her score is less than 400. Okay, guys and girls. So now let's see what the database did once we executed the AND operator. So we have as usual select star from customers database focus on the customers table stars means we need all the columns. So we're going to see all the columns and the results. So now the database is going to go through each row and to try to find out whether it fulfilled the requirements to put it at the results. So let's start with the first one. The first customer, Maria, she comes from Germany. So this is the first row at the first condition. The second condition, we have score 350. It's less than 400. So that means we have another true. And since we are using ands, both of them are true, we will get the result as true. So that means the database is going to go and put her at the results. So the next one, we have John. The country is USA. So this is the first false over here on the first condition. The second condition as well, it is higher than 400. So it's going to put it as well false. Both false. The and operator is going to put it as false. So the next one, we have the same situation as well. The country is not Germany and the score is not less than 400. So both of them false. The AND operator are going to put it as false. And the fourth one, we have Martin. The country is Germany. So we have the first true, but the condition is not less than 400. The score, sorry. So we have here false. With the AND, it will not work. So that means it's going to put false as a result because both of them are not true. And the last one, both of the conditions are false. The country is not Germany and we don't have a score. So that means we have as well false. So only one customer fulfilled both of the conditions with true. And once you use and, you will get only one record. Okay, so now let's jump to the next one and we have the OR operator. The task says find all customers that come from Germany or their score is less than 400. So we have almost the same setup, but here we have the logical operator OR. So we have the same conditions, country equals Germany, score less than 400, but now we're going to connect them with the OR operator. So now let's check the results. I'm going to execute that. And as you might already noticed, we have now two customers like as a result for this setup. So let's check what happened. Okay, so now at the start, as usual, we told the database select star from customers. It is focusing on the customers, all the columns because of the star. And now we have here the same conditions. So country equal to Germany score is less than 400. But the only difference is that we are using the logical operator or so the results gonna be different so the database is gonna go through each row and see whether it's fulfilled the requirement or not so with the or it is enough to have only one true to give it true as a result so as you can see here in the first customer both of them are true that means we will have it true as a result so we will see maria at the result after that so those two customers they don't have any true in any condition. That means it's going to be false in the results. But at the customer for Martin, he has one true. So that means this is enough. We will get that as a result. So Martin going to be at the results. And the last customer the same. So he has both false. We don't have any true. That means our operator going to put false. So that's why we got two customers as a result. All right. So now let's move to the last one. We have the not operator and we have the following task. Find all customers whose score is not less than 400. So that means we have only one condition and we have the not. So let's try to solve that. So here we have only one condition. It is about the score. So it didn't say anything about the country. I'm going to remove this part of it. So we have score is less than 400, but it says it should not be less than 400. So 
all what we can do is just to add a NOT operator. It's very simple. So let's run this. As you can see over here, that's all customers. They don't have score less than 400. Okay, so now let's see what the database done once we executed the NOT operator. So as usual, we'll get all the columns because of the star. And then we have the condition score less than 400, but with the operator NOT. So without the NOT, we will have only one customer that's fulfilling this requirement. So we have only one true and the rest are false. With the NOT operator, it's going to reverse everything. That means if you have true, it's going to show it as false. And if you have false, it's going to show it as true. So it's just going to do the opposite. So here we have true and the result is going to be false. The next three are all false, so we will get true, but here you need to be careful with something. So here it is null, so the database don't know whether it's less or like greater or something like that. So it will like treat it as unknown and it will not show it as the results. So because it is empty or null. So that's why we have as the results those trues that means we will have only those three customers all right so that was it for the three operators and or not and next we're gonna learn about the logical operator between and in the video description you will find a link to free sql materials like the database and the data of this tutorial the sql sheet sheet and as well all the presentations thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye